I sold $114,898 in gift box products on Amazon last December alone. That was over 3,000 units in less than 21 days. And here's how I did it. First, I analyzed the market focusing on products that are in line with my strengths and interests. My current product focus is gourmet food. Since I have large quantities of these products that I sell on individual listings, I thought, hmm, what combinations can I create that will utilize my current inventory? If you actually don't have inventory of anything yet, perhaps look at products that are manufactured locally that are specific to your region to see if there's a market for it on Amazon. Or for what you can gather cheaply in enough quantities that could come together to make a nice gift during the holiday season. Once I decided on a combo of olive oil, balsamic vinegar, pasta, and sauce for my gift box, I looked at price points for similar products and the respective quality, AKA market research. I noticed low quality bundles selling for $49 or less and high quality selling for over $100 or even over $120. There was an obvious gap for me in the market. So I thought perhaps I could pull off a super high quality gift box and come in at prices ranging between $64.99 and $84.99. Now the question is, could I do it profitably? And also would the consumer feel they are getting real value instead of getting overpriced junk? So let's look at what is in one of my gift boxes. As you can see here, the gift box contains authentic small batch Sicilian olive oil called Zahara. It retails between $19.99 and $23.99 throughout the year for that size and you can see it here on the Amazon. And then the uh, second product in this was, or is a aged balsamic vinegar from Modena, Italy. And it retails throughout the year for $19.99 to $24.99. And here you can see here, it's a four and a half star rated product. Zahira is uh, four and a half stars as well, okay. And the other product is an organic Italian pasta, which retails for $7.99 to $9.99. Here it is here. Right now it's $6.89, but it, it fluctuates. And then the last product in the gift box is a Agramante Italian pasta sauce. And that can retail anywhere between $7.50 and $9.99. And here you see a two pack for $14.99. So that's about $7.50 a jar okay so if the consumer if they bought these real high quality products separately it would cost them between 55 50 to even 69 dollars before they even got a real nice box or anything like that right so i priced this particular product at 64.99 so i wanted to make sure that the consumers were getting a real value plus the bonus is that it's an added convenience it's one click and then consumer doesn't have to make a box or anything. They can gift this. They can send it directly to their intended recipient without any problems and no additional work. So also, they can find these items sold separately as I showed you, and they can see them that they're highly rated products they, and they can even cross check the pricing to make sure that they're not getting ripped off on the gift box. It's pretty, pretty good concept there. Don't rip off your customers, right? So I also looked at the competitors of the higher price boxes. We're gonna take a look at them here. There's uh, 109, 114, so much higher priced, almost double. And I wanted to be sure they sold during the peak season. So what you do is you can go to the individual listing and if you have Keepa, you can go to Keepa.com to get this. You can check to see if the sales volume increases and at what price point. And does it happen in December? Cause that's key. So I needed to see what the competitors were doing before I come out and launch a gift box. I wanted to see that. So here's one of the competitors has high quality products. They come in at $115.95 and does it sell? Well, in the off season, it sells a couple a month. You can see these dips on Keepa, but in November and December, you can see a huge pickup in the volume. It goes from 175,000 sales rank all the way down to around 9,000. So that product is moving dozens a day in late December. It's moving even at a $115 price point. So these high volume, high price products move. I figured I can move more. So all I had to do now was get a trademark. So as you can see on my listing, the trademark here is Brava Julia. That's my trademark. 
On Amazon, it is very important to register a trademark prior to launching any product line. If you don't and ultimately become successful, all your hard work will be for no good as other sellers can jump on your listing if they have the same products. You need to protect yourself and your business and getting a trademark will do so. So you can apply for one at USPTO, it's the government website, or you can hire a law firm for a little bit more money between $800 and $1,200 and they will completely handle the process for you. Be sure to dig into this research because it is extremely important for your long-term growth, okay? Next, design a logo. As you can see, my box has the logo of the brand name. You will wanna design a beautiful logo that represents your brand too. Envision that you'll likely print this logo for branding on all your gift boxes as I have here. And yes, you are launching a real brand, so make sure to do it right. You can get logos designed on Fiverr, Upwork, and many, many other sites, but you gotta get it. All right, now next, next, find a gift box manufacturer. Once you have your logo, you need to shop around for actual custom gift boxes. You really need to assess and project demand because the more boxes you can buy at once, the more you will save. You can spend anywhere between a dollar and seven dollars for just one box. So it's really important to order large quantities to save money. But I'll tell you, when I first launched, I was paying over $4 a box. I didn't buy a lot because I was testing uh, the product out and you know, buying thousands of boxes when you, you're just testing for the first year, you know, you're only, you know, you, it just, it's risky to buy thousands and thousands of boxes. But now I import thousands of boxes from China and they cost around a dollar landed. So I've reduced the cost of the box to almost nothing. And honestly, it's a better quality box than I was buying in the United States. So at the beginning, don't worry too much about the cost of the box. Honestly, it's just the, the beginning. You want quality and you want to prove the concept will sell, as I've said. So once proven, then you can load up on boxes, go big the next season or holiday and cut down on that box cost. Next, start getting product pictures together. These are another super important thing you need to do. Without good product pictures, your gift boxes will absolutely not sell. You can try making the pictures yourself with your phone. You can try taking them yourself and then find a pro to edit them on sites like, again, Fiverr or Upwork. That's what I did. I found a few great editors on Fiverr that I can actually go back to again and again in the future. You want to set that up, okay? And then you can also go locally if you don't want to do something on Fiverr. You can look for product photographers locally. There are dozens around all over the United States that can help you with your product photography, okay? Now, the next step is getting a UPC from GS1. You know, every product has a UPC coder on it, right? Well, Amazon requires the same thing. And where you get them is GS1. Google that. You need these GS1 UPCs to set up your listings on Amazon. So every single product that you're gonna launch, you're gonna need a UPC code. And GS1 is the only source to properly get them. Check that out. It's a small expense, but you cannot avoid this. Next, you'll have to start putting together the copy of your listing. Think SEO, search engine optimization. You'll need to put together an optimized title, bullets, and backend keywords. Don't know what any of that means? Well, ask me a question and I will definitely do my best to answer it in the comments. One tool I recommend for this, this type of research and getting the copy together is Helium 10. It will do the heavy lifting for you. So I have a deal on that software. Check out the link in the description for a wonderful discount. I use that software every single day. It's amazing. So once you have your UPC, your pictures, your listing copy, you have it all done and you're ready to set up your product listing, now it's time to set up your Amazon product listing. I have videos on my channel that will show you how to set up listings. Just check them out. It's pretty easy, so check out the videos because initially it can be a little overwhelming. Next, next, another step. Send your fully assembled gift boxes to Amazon for sale. All right, Amazon won't make your gift boxes with the individual products, so do not send them just cases of products. Remember that, remember that, because some people ask that. You need to manufacture them yourself. You need to put them together yourself. Our company bought a huge packaging machine that does a beautiful job of shrink wrapping beautiful gift boxes. It's wonderful, but 
you know, you can figure out uh, shrink wrapping on your own at a, a small scale level, okay? Now, after you ship your gift boxes to Amazon, you'll need product reviews, boost initial conversions, and perhaps some UGC. UGC, user generated content. Think influencer videos. First to get reviews, enroll in Amazon's Vine program. You can give up to 30 units to 30 individual reviews, viewers, okay? So this is absolutely a great way to get reviews on your new product listing. Although it can be extremely expensive, Think about my gift box, which I'm listed for around $65 each, right? I gave away 30 of those and that amounted to $1,950 in total revenue cost, plus the actual Vine fee, plus the other Amazon fees. So that probably cost me around $2,300 to pull this off, but it was worth it. It's worth it to do Vine. Remember, you're trying to build a brand here with real long-term value. Think of this, gift box maker, Harry and David was sold to 1-800-Flowers years ago for 142.5 million, <laughs> $142 million, right? Harry and David is like amazing, right? Beautiful boxes, tasty chocolates, and they created a lot of value. Why? Because they created a brand and over time, that brand has real value behind it, just like any other brand. And if that is your potential, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars if you can just continue to build your brand right. So shoot for the stars and shooting for the stars requires big investments. Also, since the gift box is usually gifted, the original buyers rarely leave reviews. So you're not gonna get too many reviews on your listing after the Vine reviews. The 30 Vine reviews are going to help long-term. So great reviews means higher conversion and that's important to ranking your listing at the top of search. It's essential for sales and long-term growth. Next is user generated content. I love talking about this now. I mean, it's, it's the fun part of, of selling on Amazon, honestly. It's important for things like unboxing videos. Influencers will do amazing work for you creating videos of your product. You can use the videos on your Amazon listing and in advertising and advertising is going to be very important. Listing conversion is also very important and a great place, an easy place to get UGC is join brands. Check out the link for a discount in the description. And I also have videos on my channel talking about join brands. It's, it's amazing, all right? And uh, not only do you get the videos for your advertising, for your listing, but the influencers will post them on TikTok, will post them on YouTube, so you'll get the added pop of the promotional value. Pretty cool, it's a must do in this uh, day and age of product launch. So after all this, your product is on Amazon, you have great Vine reviews, you followed Matt, you got 4.7 stars, you have tons of UGC, but guess what? You don't have any sales, right? That's gonna happen, right? So what, no sales, this happens to me. You're gonna say, Matt told me that's e that it's easy. Well, you know, I'm gonna tell you, the last two steps you need to know are Amazon ads, PPC, and participating in Amazon discount days like Amazon Prime Day and Black Friday, Cyber Monday. If you wanna learn about PPC, check out my videos as I cover in detail on the channel. It's pretty easy, but you can make a lot of mistakes, so check out those videos. Also ask me questions, honestly. I, I answer them pretty much within 24 hours. Just so you know, your ad budget's gonna need to allocate at least $50 in ads to get your product off the ground. Now think about your product as a rocket and how much it fuel a rocket takes to break through gravity and, and reach orbit. Well, that's your product with no sales. You need, you need the cash fuel, the cash rocket fuel, to boost it and get ranked on Amazon so eager shoppers can buy it. And for Prime Day participation and the other discount events, well, when your conversion goes up due to more sales, you will gain keyword ranking faster and your product will actually get into more hands. Getting your product in front of people, into their hands, I mean, isn't that the point? You wanna make profit, you wanna increase brand awareness over time to create value, to create wealth. That's all that, what you, that's all that you need to do. So you need to take advantage of all these promo events you need to do a lot of ads, you need to do a lot of social influencer marketing. This is the way you launch a gift box line. This does work and you can do it for this fourth quarter if you get moving. So there you have it. That's what I did to launch several gift boxes the last two years and I will deploy this strategy to launch many new products in the future. Again, if you have any questions about this or want me to go in 
detail about anything, let me know by leaving a comment in the description and please click the like button. I'll see you next time.